Right, this is the fifth lecture on matrices and it's on augmented matrices and the Gaussian elimination. And there's a hell of a lot to go through. Right, first of all, the definition an augmented matrix is, an, is a matrix that's been made from a equation, such as 2x minus 3y equals 5, uh, 4x plus 2y equals 17. These both go together into an augmented matrix of 2, 3, 4, 2, 5, 17. As you can see, uh, that should actually be a minus 3. There should be a minus 3 there. Uh, we just got rid of the coefficients, basically, and stuck all the rest in. Now, we do a line here. This is just for formatting, because we put the these ones here in there. And that's how you do that. And now the Gaussian elimination. Now this was made from Carl Friedrich Gauss, and it's a very long-winded way of doing simultaneous equations. But I imagine it'll give you a lot of marks in the exams. We want an end result after doing his method of one, 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 all the rest zeros, A, B, C. Now, like before, we separate this because this is what our values at the end are going to be. So this will say one, as in X equals A, Y equals B, Z equals C. Now, it can be even bigger if you like. You can have like a five across if you're given five different variables. But in our example, we'll just have an X, Y, and Z. Right now, this is our equation to start off with. 2x plus y plus 3z equals 2, x plus 3y plus z equals 3, 3x plus 2y plus 2z equals 4, and we've put it into here, like I showed you before, and we've got a 3 by 3. Now first of all, what we want to do is we want to get the 1 in the top up here, that's the first thing we want to do. Now luckily we can rearrange it, you're allowed to rearrange it, so you're allowed to move a row up or down or in different places. So we'll just move that row up one. Yep, we just moved the right up one and the other one's just gone down. Now what we want to do next is we want to get these as zeros. So this one first, this one first, we can do that by subtracting two of this row. Agreed? So first of all we can get two is uh, uh, minus two of that taken off it, yeah? So if we take two off, we'll get uh, two, that becomes zero. If we take two of it, it'll be minus five two of these it'll be one and two of these it'll be minus four yep now the next one we want to do yep is uh, this one so we want that to be zero so we can subtract three of this so it'll be zero we'll take off three of this will be minus seven if we take off three of this it'll be minus one and we take off three of this it will be minus five hopefully there you go, and we're just going to move on to the next slide because I've moved it over. This is just our equation up here. Right, next thing we want to do, we want to get this middle one. And well, how we did that over here is we multiplied this line by minus a fifth. Now, when you want to get this middle ones, like next we want to do this one, make that one, we multiply them by a value. So we've multiplied this entire line by minus a fifth, and that's giving us one minus a fifth and four fifths. Next, we want to get either of these. I can't remember which one I chose. It will probably have been this one because it looks easier. Uh, we want uh, to subtract three of this from that. So that will give us a zero there. We subtract three of this, it will give us 0.4. No, we have to add that one because it's a minus, so it'll be 1.6. Uh, and this one we want to subtract 3 as well, and that will give us uh, 3 fifths. Oh, 3 fifths, there we go. All right. All right, next off, we want to get this one to be 0. So we want to, we can add 7 of this. 7 of this to that, and that will get rid of uh, I'm not sure if you heard that. That will be, we're adding 3 of this, will be, that will be a 0, 7 of this, so that will be a 0. We had 7 of this, I can't remember what these are, but 
I'm not sure what I'm, how, how I'm on time, but that will give you minus 12 over 5 and 3 over 5. Next, we want to make this equal 1. So I multiplied it by minus 5 over 12. And of course, these zeros, no, this is a good thing you do, it's uh, progressively and you get there. Uh, this will become 1, and this will become, oh, I think it's 3 quarters, it looked quite nice. Oh, uh, minus a quarter even. Next, we want to do either one of these, I think I did this one, it looks nicest. I added a fifth of this, so add, uh, add a fifth of this, and that becomes, that one becomes 3 quarters, I'm sure of it. 3 quarters. Uh, now the last one, we want to do this one, so I subtracted eight fifths of this, and it worked out very nicely. So I subtracted eight fifths of this, and that became one. I think. There we go, and this is our final result. Give you another look at that. So our final result. Uh, one 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 zero 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 one three quarters minus a quarter and now to check that it actually works so we've got our x value as our x as one our y as three quarters and our z as minus a quarter and we can check it works by using the original equations which we've got here and we can substitute the values in and as you can see two times one plus three quarters minus three times quarter is two, one plus three times three quarters plus a quarter is three. Must be. Uh, no, that's not right. That would be minus, oh yeah, because we've because it's a minus a quarter. Minus a quarter, I forgot to put the minus there. Uh, three times one plus two times three quarters minus two times a quarter equals four, and they all work.